Comprehensive High School, Senior High School, Division of Misamis Oriental. I am your teacher for this learning episode on Earth and Life Science. Before we begin for today's lesson, let us have a quick recap. That's right! We have learned that even if the Earth consists of four different spheres, all of them interact with one another to keep the balance and harmony in the planet. Isn't it amazing? amazing. Yes, it is! Now, I want you to look at these pictures. What word describes the images? Correct! They are minerals! So, our lesson for today is the properties of minerals. In today's lesson, we will identify common rock-forming minerals using their physical and chemical properties. Have you ever wondered how minerals differ from rocks? How will you know if you are holding a mineral or a rock? A mineral is defined as naturally occurring, usually inorganic solid, with distinct chemical composition and an orderly crystalline structure. Rocks are usually made up of two or more minerals. There are properties that will help us identify a mineral from rocks. These properties are Luster Straight Cleavage and fracture Density Hardness Reaction with acids Fluorescence and Phosphorescence Are you ready to explore these properties of minerals? Let's begin! The first property of a mineral is color. How does a mineral gain its unique color? It is the result of the reflection of visible light and the various elements composing the mineral. If a mineral is composed of elements that reflect violet light, then a mineral will appear violet. However, color is not an effective indicator of a mineral. Like quartz, it comes with different colors, which brings us to the next property. The second property of a mineral is luster. It is the ability of a mineral to reflect light from its surface. In other words, it is how shiny a mineral is. The third property is streak. Streak refers to the color of a mineral in powdered form. How do you get the streak of a mineral? Simple. Just rub a mineral in an unglazed ceramic tile to observe its streak. Always remember that metallic minerals have dark colored streaks while non-metallic minerals have light-colored streaks in general. For the next property, have you ever wondered why minerals come in various shapes and sizes? Well, 
it is because of the next two properties which are cleavage and fracture. Cleavage refers to the ability of a mineral to split along a weak plane, forming flat surface. On the other hand, fracture refers to the capacity of a mineral to break along curved surfaces. If we break a mineral and it has a flat, smooth, and even surface, that is cleavage. So, if a mineral breaks very jagged and uneven surfaces, then it is considered as fracture. That explains why we have minerals in all sorts of shapes and sizes. The next property is density. Let us remember that density is intrinsic which means that it is the same for all minerals no matter the shape and size of the sample. Diamond has a higher density of 3.51 grams per cubic centimeter, while Tal has a density of 2.76 grams cubic centimeter. We now know that some properties cannot fully indicate the identity of a mineral. But density can. In summary, each element and mineral has unique density that makes it identifiable from others. The seventh property is hardness, which is the tendency of a mineral to resist abrasion or scratching. The Moss scale of hardness shows the arrangement of minerals from softest to hardest, which is measured in a scale of 1 to 10. Another useful property of mineral is reaction to acids. It is indeed a useful indicator. It can be used to identify carbonate and zeolite minerals. Since minerals with carbonate reacts with acid. We are now in our last two properties which are fluorescence and phosphorescence. These are amazing properties. Fluorescence is the ability of a mineral to glow when bounded with ultraviolet light. Imagine that you are in a dark cave. Then we see minerals with different colors at the cave walls. Would this be possible? It can be possible. It's because of fluorescence. Fluorescence has been used in mining, mineralogy, geology, and petrology. Take note that ultraviolet light is one technique that geologists use to search for minerals. The last property is phosphorescence. Would you believe that minerals glow? Absolutely! Some minerals would continue to glow even after a source of ultraviolet light has been turned off. It would be wonderful if you explore your surroundings, collect rock samples, and study their composition. Now that you have studied minerals and its common properties, surely you will be able to identify one. This might be a jump start for you to become a geologist or even a science teacher. Wow! That would be awesome. Now that we have finished the learning episode, it is time to check our understanding of today's lesson. Get a pen and a paper to answer the following questions. Are you ready? Let's begin! First,
first question. What property describes a mineral's resistance to scratching? Correct! The answer is hardness. Second question. What property of a mineral describes the way it breaks into flat surfaces? Correct! The answer is fracture. Third question. What is the ability of a mineral to glow when bombarded with ultraviolet light? Very good! The answer is fluorescence. Fourth question. What is an intrinsic property of a mineral or any other element that helps identify real minerals from fake ones? Very good! The answer is density. Fifth question. What is the ability of a mineral to reflect light from its surface? Excellent! The correct answer is luster. That ends our lesson for today. I hope you learned many things. Once again, I am Teacher Hannah May Christine Binapitan of Misamis Oriental General Comprehensive High School, Division of Misamis Oriental. See you all in the next learning episode!